Hello guys. Let's go. And finish this benchmark. Which took a lot of time and energy. And to be honest. It's not a huge deal for us. So I don't care about the solution to be unique. Um, I just want to say, let me see. Oh, actually I'm not showing you what I have. So what are the actions? We wanted to show that we just wanted to compare the wanted to compare the means and that's what it was. Want to compare the mean. Gaussian, yes, Gaussian. We had a difficult time finding the unique solution, that's true. Still, we don't know if it is unique or not. And at this point, I don't care too much. Um, who cares? Because sigmas are diff means are different, so we don't care much about sigmas. And um, we just want to compare the means, comparing it to first best, randomized or deterministic. I I think we already mentioned that it will be deterministic, right? Deterministic, exactly. Deterministic. Cleaning the note. Well, we did we clean the note? Yes. What if R in minus one and one over n minus one? Okay, this is not interesting for us because we are only interested in cases where first best is bounded and this benchmark is not hugely important for us to say okay what if this is bounded but first best is not bounded we have other steps which are after which we will address them once we finish this, this section okay so mu is this and we, let's compare it to what what should I say corollary or proposition Can you see? Yep. Um, given theta omega is here. And proof we have an if false. We don't need it anymore. Split. And I want to add something that is. Um, Yes, corollary. Yep. We 
again corollary um, just let's here also add the rule too Where is my beginning? Oh, begin color line. Um, okay, let's look at the first test, right? Now I want to look at the first list. Or um, one minus n minus one to r um, one minus n minus two to r plus two r t mu to the n. And um, and uh, n minus one to r equals of this one. So we'll be. S mu omega plus T mu theta i over 1 minus N minus 1 to R. All right. All right, guys. Um, Sigma i theta i 
this is uh, uh, this one is sigma a theta i over sigma a theta i minus t sigma theta i squared I said this is bigger than one because Well, this is bigger than one, right? And our assumption is that sigma i theta i is greater than t sigma theta i squared. So with this positive, yes, or sigma i theta i less than t sigma theta i squared when t is negative, less than zero. So it will be like minus five, and this will be minus two, again greater than one. So the denominator here is bigger, um, and denominator, denominator is bigger, so mu ai is less. in symmetric game uh, in the symmetric game I should say produce or I should say mu AI. It can be a price, so I don't want to say produce, it's not quantity. Quantity. It's a quantity. It's a, it is an action. Should I say mean of action? Uh, in the symmetric case, uh, the players. See how we set it for sigmas. Mm -hmm. For R, this the covariance coefficient of satisfy this. That's it. Or another one. For R, this for for yes. Let's say that. Let's keep the format similar. Um, in the symmetric game, for R, R, mm, minus one half. One. 
little symmetric game. Meeting up for action. Reserve the shape six the core or coefficient. We should have a what was the name of it? Um obedience without truthfulness truthfulness without obedience. Uh, when the players follow the recommended action. Players follow the recommended action There was an intrusive mechanism that Wait a second. Why should we compare optimal revenue? Why should we compare optimal revenue to um, why should we first best? It is strange because first best. Oh, okay. It's not a strange. First best the objective is. What did I do? Uh, the objective is welfare, but first best at the same time, the objective can be revenue. So, first best for revenue and first best for welfare are the same. No problem. For are this in the optimal. Truthful mechanism where players follow 
the recommended action. The optimal true swing mechanism where players follow the recommended actions. The mean of the the mean of them. Actions uh, the mean of the actions satisfy I should say something new um, what should we name it? Welfare, we have revenue. This is how do we name first best, by the way? Uh, mu it is definitely AI, but what should be the superscript? True swingness without obedience. I say two. T, small w, and O. Um, then we can change the name. Um, satisfies. So if I want to say just it is big, it has a bigger absolute value. In the optimal truthful mechanism where players follow the recommended action, the mean of the actions has a smaller absolute value compared the first best uh, in a symmetric game um, all right now begin display mass is less than yes but we can say they have the same sign too but Real doesn't matter. Um, it's just the small details. I don't know what are the intuitions. Okay, the more important thing is coming up with intuition. We have to discuss about this stuff. 
So yeah, why? Let's do that. Why do we want when we add truthfulness to the game, right? When we add truthfulness, why do we want to produce less on average, like size-wise, compared to the case we don't even need truthfulness? So both are in, the, in the both cases they are obedient. Um, we have two games. In the second one, when we add truthfulness. They should produce less. Let's look at Corno, for example. Right? Oh my phone. Um, in Corno, they are in competition. They are producing quantity, and how is Corno, by the way? A firm wants to produce more or a firm wants to produce less? I don't know what they want to produce. Well, we have corn. Let's look at it. I feel uh, when other firms trying to produce more, you also want to produce more in Cornell. Mm, It doesn't say what's up. Corno, this is Corno. What is it? It's a competition or coordination game we have. And we also have one one metric was when I'm producing more, how it affects your utility. The other thing, how will you act based on me producing more? One is about relation between actions, and one is about relationship of my action on your utility. Coordination. Uh, I saw a QI somewhere. I see, okay. First best mechanism in in Corno, I guess it is Corno. Alright, fuck that. Uh, Alright. Mm. Okay, we wanted to come with come up with intuition. That was the point. In Corno When you produce more, what do I want to do? Let's check it out. Corno, Courtney Cox. Corno, 
uh, competition Corner competition Nash equilibrium So okay, that's it. So when Q2 increases its amount, I want to decrease my amount, right? Quantity. The more you produce as my rival, I want to produce less. Um, which means, Okay, in this case, when we are truthful and obedient, right? We are truthful. No, we sh the mechanism should first best. No constraint. TW all mechanism should be truthful. So. As a firm, you are producing less in quantity. Let's assume they're positive. You're assuming less in quantity on average. Why? Because as the platform, we have to make sure that you are truthful. You will tell us the true thing, your true cost. Right, we will tell you true cost. You will tell us the true cost, and we tell you to produce less. Why? If we tell you produce the same amount as first best, you will lie to us. So, okay, why? If we okay, if we tell you to produce the same amount as first best. Uh, which means we are asking you to produce more it won't be truthful it means your rivals should produce less produce less and what else if rivals produce less You produce more so this change in the quantity should be the cost of truthfulness, right? Should be the cost of truthfulness. Um, like it is like you are, well, how is the kernel again? In kernel, when your cost is higher, we want you to produce less. What if we say it like that? When we don't know your thing, you're, you're, you have some cost for truthfulness. The cost is higher in general. We want you to produce less. But it is different. CI here stands for your cost of production. That cost is cost of truthfulness. Let's see what's up. Can you here, here we don't have any cost. A 
x is the cost x is the cost so when your cost is higher we want it for future that is always true uh, <laughs> once you produce less when your cost is higher we want you to reduce it when your rival is producing more we want you to produce less when um, you are not truthful we want you to produce less because if we ask you for more production and we don't know your cost, right? What we don't know is your cost. Is your theta i is your cost. So we don't know your cost. Okay, what I want to know is how quantity affects your utility. If everybody else is keeping their amount fixed, do you want to produce more in Corno? Well, in the Nash equilibrium, you don't want. But what if you lie? What if you lie about your cost, right? Let's say you say my cost is higher right so we will you you are allowed to lie you say my cost is higher we will ask you to produce less and your rivals will produce more is it better for your utility or not well we have this round of pi 1 round q1 is this so you say my cost is higher right we will tell you to produce less your rivals more i don't know okay this term gets bigger this term stays constant this term 2bq1 plus bq2 will stay a minus x, right? 2bq1 plus bq2. This term stays constant. And, oh, it stays zero actually. So if you lie, what happens? If you lie, you announce your x. Okay, no. You, you will announce your x less, right? Uh, sorry, you say. I'm, we assume you are an answer x higher. We will announce your x higher. We will you tell you to produce less. We will tell your rival to produce more. And I don't know yet this lesson more how it affects this term. Uh, if it stays positive. Note the lower cost you are, we want you to produce more because you're more efficient. In first best, we are asking you to produce more. Um, 
in TWO, we are asking you to produce less, and we want to come up with the intuition about it, and um, what is it? Why is that? We ask you to produce less, like you are more, less cost efficient. You are less cost efficient. You are very costly. Uh, and So you have more cost. If you want to be... So if we tell you the same amount as you would produce if it was truthfulness, would you make more money or not? I don't know. Would you lie upwards or downwards? I see. Okay, good talk. Let's finish this part. And for the intuition, we can think again later. For R in this, in the optimal true swim mechanism where players follow the recommended act. average has a smaller absolute value compared to the first best in the symmetric game. AI. Proof. What is the proof? Um, if we have TW, which you My I theta I T 
Right click motherfucker now. Frag me, oh my god. Where's the frag? equation doesn't have anything The first best for the first best um uh, in a symmetric game. Okay. Alright. 
Cure. Cure. Actions first this. Display as new AIF. is this one over there. This new AI F where is it? Right. Yep, that's it. Okay, I'm good. Call it. Shift. 